Good Monday morning to you, everybody. Uh, welcome to Barber Dave's Barbershop at Home. I'm Barber Dave, and today we're going to do kind of an old school straight shave. Uh, our characters today will be a Genco Easy Aces, and a shout out to Fenster, Jerry, who works for Case Cutlery. Uh, he gave us kind of a history lesson the other night on a uh, Zoom call that says that the ones that are uh, manufactured in Bradford, Pennsylvania, could be uh, case made. So very interesting. Uh, as far as our soap today, we will be using Williams Mug Soap in our TSC shaving mug, along with a rubber set 404 uh brush with a TGM Finest, and then we'll finish everything up with traditional Williams Ice Blue Aqua Velva, and uh, for the EDT, another old school one, Canoe, and then we'll be using the Men in Shave Towel. Hope everybody's getting ready for Christmas. We're getting close. A couple days away. Nice Monday morning. Uh, the razor has already been stropped 60 and uh, 30 and 60. And uh, I will strop it a little bit in between passes, too. Williams is a great soap. Cheap, 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 cheap. But, it, you know, it's a little finicky. But once you get it right, it is wonderfully slick. Thin, but nice. And I'll be doing the full straight shave today. Add just a little bit of water. You know, so it was really neat to find out um, the uh, kind of the history, the possible history, I guess, of this uh, Genco razor, which is kind of cool. Genco's a fun little 5 8 razor to use. Uh, the one thing when using it with with William, with Mug is that you got to be real careful because Mug is such a slick soap. But if you get any on your fingers, it could be an interesting day uh, real fast. If you are a member of the TSC, don't forget to sign up for our Christmas Zoom call. I know it's tough right now because people aren't going to be able to see family or not as much. Genco is such a smooth, such a smooth uh, razor overall. Great first pass. We'll go ahead and uh, strop this uh, 10 and 10 uh, between passes.
think the key to getting a good lather out of Williams, uh, whether this is the new stuff, not the old stuff, um, I think is soaking the puck um, and then just building the lather in the cup or the bowl uh, and then building it again on your face. And then it gives you, I mean, I've got a full mug of, uh, of lather, so it, uh, and it's very slick, very smooth. This Genco razor keeps a wonderful edge. And I would have to say that the, uh, the Williams soap is a great medium uh, to shape of the straight razor just super slick and it stays slick throughout the uh the entire shape even though the lather it's not a it's not a pretty lather um but it's slick and it's good and, and like i said for 50 cents a dollar a puck what do you expect but it's a classic Just add just a tad bit of water to make this last pass a little slicker. And I just float the water on top of the brush and then just kind of coat it right onto the face. So it adds just a little bit more slickness for that last pass. Those of you that missed the Sunday Zoom call, we had a uh, <laughs> pretty interesting talk uh, towards the end of the conversation. 
being the fact that some of us are older, uh, we uh, had the discussion of what kind of injuries we had as children and how we're surprised that in many cases we are still alive because parents back then weren't as, oh, what's the word, protective of their children. You could fall off a roof and, uh, and they'd brush you off and tell you to go play. We also found out that one of our members who I won't mention can actually move his Adam apple, Adam's apple at will. Now, as you know, as a straight razor shaver, right around in here it can get interesting. So you usually move the skin. Well, not to be outdone. This member moves the whole Adam's apple. Now, I will not call that member out for his privacy. However, there are certain things, member, that we can't unsee. So, he will forever be known to me now as Adam Rubbernecker. Okay, there's three passes. Very little cleanup, I think, today. A little bit in the lipple area and uh, the neckle, as Rich calls it. But plenty of lather, so if you can't get Williams to lather, just take your time. You'll get it. You'll finally get it there. Trust me. Also, I'll call out uh, Steve Chuck Frank on the TSC forum. He is finally starting to take the journey down the straight razor path. And uh, I think it's awesome. And he had mentioned something about somebody on YouTube uh, taking the blade at a 90 degree angle. Well, I will say one thing to you, Steve. Uh, at certain, at this point, when I'm finishing up my neck area, I actually do. I f what they call flat blade it. So I will literally put it right at per perpendicular and scrape down and then actually go through the entire... 90 to 180 uh, to scrape up, but that's the only time I do it. Only in that in that instance. And to this day, doing the fool's pass on the lip is always scary. So, But thanks again to Jerry, because now this uh, Genco means a lot more to me now than I know it's possible history.
very nice DS BBS shave. And we'll see what the alum thinks of the shave. Nothing. Well, not nothing, but... About the same as the Tridari yesterday. So very good straight razor shave. If you haven't done it yet, try it. It's fun. Plus, if you get the alum in your mouth, you get your salt intake for the day. Very good shave. Okay. We will go to the Williams Aquavalva. Ugh, just such a wonderful smell. This is the newer stuff. I burned through all my vintage stuff, but still wonderful. Aquatic cooling. Very nice alcohol content. Let that dry down for just a second. While we rinse out our cup. And I just leave the, the puck in the in the in the mug. You know, just rinse it off, dry it, let it stick to the mug, and we're good to go. Keeping with the uh, kind of old school theme today, we're gonna be using men and shave talc. Not too much of that left. And this one's gonna be a cloud, I think. Oh yeah, snowy. And this has actually got the scent, the menin of a, uh, almost of aqua velva. And when using the high alcohol uh, aftershaves, you're gonna get a shine to your face. And the nice thing about the towel is it kind of takes care of that and softens it up, but still leaves all the goodness that goes along with it. And then for our EDT, we're going to be using an old favorite, Canoe. A lot of people say that this smells kind of like uh, Clubman. Eh, I can see that, but I can also see where it uh, has its own kind of flavor, so to speak. All right, and that's it. Well, thanks, everybody, for joining me at Barber Dave's Barbershop at Home for a Monday shave, uh, kind of an old-school shave. Genco, Rubber Set 400, Canoe, Aqua Velva, Menon, kind of all the old good stuff that our dads and our granddads shaved with, and it's still good to this day. Don't forget to check out The Shaving Cadre at www.theshavingcadre.com, and we'll see you next time at Barber Dave's Barbershop at Home. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.